usually I'm boat fishing but today we're out in the bank. I've had a few requests to do a video like this and this is where it all started for me so I'm going to run through some sort of tips and tricks that I, that I use in the bank to try and catch some fish. I'm out with a mate today and he's fishing 100 yards down the bank so hopefully we'll get some fish for the camera and we'll see how it goes. So I've gave it the morning in this spot, nothing's really materialised, we've been here for three and a half hours. Um, I think it pays to always keep on the move or always keep an open mind. If I was fishing four rods here, it's, it can be quite easy to stay in the one spot, but because I'm only fishing two, it's easy enough to just pack up, move. My mate down the bank, he's had three fish, so I think we're going to pack up here, we're going to move down there and see what's down there. Good fish. Uh, so <coughs> it's just came off. Sake. Uh, after the move that we made, we never caught any fish. My mate as well, things dried up, so it seemed like there was just sort of a morning feeding spell, if you like, in the swim that we're in. Whether we caught all the fish that was there or not, we don't know, but uh, I think it's important. If, if things aren't working out, you have to move swim, try and find some fish. If nothing happens, by the, uh, uh, late morning, we'll probably move again, but we'll, we'll see how things go. The rods are out, the kettle's on, so we'll see how things go. A top tip when I'm out dead baiting, I like to try and keep everything nice and neat, everything compact um, be, and so that I'm able to move at a, moment, a moment's notice. Everything I've got for a day's dead baiting for, on the bank is in my rucksack. My net's nice and light, easy enough to pack away, my mat is the same, everything just packs away really quick. I can fix it to my rucksack, same in my bait bag, everything's on my back, I'm carrying two rods, bank sticks are in the back, uh, the bag as well. Everything's nice and easy, that way that I'm, I'm continually moving, I'm looking for the fish. Some, some days it can, pay, it can pay to stay in the one spot all day, but I often find I'm, always, I'm, I'm constantly on the move. I like to be catching fish. It, uh, it can often pay to, to sit in one spot and sit out for a big fish. If you know they're there, that can be great, it can, be, it can work. But often's the case, I keep moving, it's always better to have a bait in the right spot for 10 minutes and catch a fish than sitting in the wrong spot all day and catching nothing. So there you go, that's, 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 that's a top tip for, from me. Well mate, it's been quiet, we've not had much action. How many times have we been here before? We were sitting on the bank, we're struggling, and then it just takes one run and you get a big fish. Exactly, one run. I mean, we've been in this position so many times. So many times that I can't remember, do you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, here's hoping one run can make the difference, get a big one. Well done, mate. Yes! <laughs> that's, that's a good fish, that's what we came for. Let's get it in and get it unhooked. Get everything. Roll up, roll up. Support the weight of the fish, that's a good, that's a good fish. 
Do it in the net in the mat. Oh, what a fish, mate. What a fish. Well done. <laughs> Certainly a mid-20. Yeah, I think it's at 35, maybe. Definitely. Right, I'm just going to run through how we hook a fish. Easiest way to do it, make sure everything's at hand. We've got our four sets already in the mat, so that's that's easy, easy bit done. So first off, the easiest thing to do is get your hand un under the gill plate. Keep it nice and tight, that way you'll run up, run up the edge of the bone. Kick your trace out. Open the mouth of the fish. As you can see, Jason struck early. It's just hooked literally in the scissors. Pop that out. Easy as that. I'm holding the fish. Get the trace out the rod. Support the weight of the fish and move the net. Do I lift that net, Jess? It's a good thing with these mats. <laughs> if the fish flashes about, nothing, nothing can happen to the fish. Just wet the sling to protect the fish. While he's doing that, I'll get the scales ready. Oh man! Yeah, 28. 28 bang on. Well done mate! <laughs> Good man! Right, so Jace, tell us how you caught that. Uh, ledgered sardine. Fished quite close in. A couple of my rods are a bit further out and haven't had any action, so decided to bring one a bit closer in. And it's paid off. It's paid off, so just keep searching <laughs> for them, really. And it just goes to show you, it only takes one run. Conditions have been hard, fishing's been hard, but with a fish like that, it's a, a fish of a lifetime, so. Yep. Right, let's get it back, mate.